So what is important to understand about Joseph and Annie Albers? We're now looking at a painting by Joseph called An Homage to the Square. And Joseph really might have called it an homage to color. He developed this format of squares so that he could present color uninterrupted, completely on its own, where we don't read it as subject matter. And to answer your question about what we need to know about Joseph and Annie, is that they both had this complete faith in abstract art as a source of calm, as a source of, they would call it visual recreation, as a course of cause of sustenance. And they were not interested in representing their personalities, their autobiographies, or the expressionism that they didn't care for. Rather, they were interested in eternal truths and eternal laws, like the impact of one color on another, and in Annie's case, like the impact of one thread on another. Everything was about relativity. Everything was about seeing things in relationship to each other. But uh, isn't it a problem to show both of them in the same place? Because they were never really cal collaborating, right? Their marriage was a complete collaboration. When one knew them, they were like a two-person religious sect who believed totally in the same religion. The moment that I encountered them for the first time, I saw people who physically resembled each other, but above all else, in their manner and in their faith and in their belief, they lived life for the same purposes, which was really to celebrate, to plunge into the making of art. They believed in mastery of technique, They shared so many points in common. And in many ways, this exhibition is about that marriage, that partnership, and what that partnership made possible. But what is surprising is that they didn't do even one work together. Not entirely true. Um, there are a couple of things you should know. One is that they made Easter eggs together. <laughs> Annie told me this, but alas, the Easter eggs have not survived. And sometimes I can lie in bed at night wondering what did Annie and Joseph Albers' Easter eggs look like. The second thing is that you would have to see the back of one of her weavings to know that Joseph always did the, ha <coughs> did the handwriting on the back of a weaving. He put the title And he wrote the name Annie Albers. Wow. And there's something quite wonderful when you look at the back of one of those weavings and you see that name Annie Albers in his hand. Why is that? Why is that? Because he had neater handwriting. He taught handwriting as a school teacher. He preferred his handwriting, so did she. They titled work together. You know, very often these paintings had names that came after they were made. Annie could suggest the name, or Joseph could suggest the name of one of her weavings, but the names came later. But why didn't they do works together, really? Because... If they were fusional. That sort of collaboration didn't work for them because they worked in different media. Uh, Joseph, from the beginning, was working in glass when he met her. She, from the beginning, was working in textile. Each was going his or her own way. But if you look at their work from 1926, although they didn't work on the same piece together, you'll see the red and the black and the white geometry, the rectangles, the right angles, and Annie said, that after they had had their honeymoon in Florence in 1925, when they returned to, to Dessau, to the Bauhaus, she was very, very happy, as was he, to 
receive the influence of Romanesque geometry. Mm -hmm. As to why they didn't work on anything together, it would be a little bit like asking, I mean, I'm married to a writer and we've been married for 45 years and we both have great respect for the writing that each other does, but we couldn't write together. But you, you never had a, a, a book published together? No. So they have an exhibition together. That's they why have I'm an asking. exhibition, but an exhibition is a presentation of their work. Um, I would love to publish a book of their letters. Um, if we were in a different era, I'd like to think that my wife's and my letters had a certain charm to them. I mean, I'm not saying that they're as profound as the Albers' letters, but to show them together, to go back to your question, yes. is to show, in fact, the incredible similarities in spite of the dissimilarities. So he painted squares and she did weavings. What do they have in common? They have a modesty, they're full of surprises. The Albers' work always keeps surprising you. In a way, they never repeat themselves. You could say, oh, he repeated the squares, but he was always trying further explorations. They were both always experimenting with materials. They both mastered their crafts, and their crafts were not the same. Even as printmakers, they had very different attitudes toward printmaking technique. Annie would move the screen around in multiple directions. Joseph always used the same screen and was more interested in color. So there, there was great mutual respect. Merci.